Hi there. In this video, we will create a JavaScript function to find the longest common prefix string among an array of strings. Okay, so I found this problem on litcode.com where you can see we have an array with three elements flower, flow, and flight. Okay, so here fl is a common prefix in this array. So we will create that JavaScript function that will return this common string. Okay, another example you can see the dog, race car, and car don't have any common prefix, so it will return an empty string. Okay, so we will create such JavaScript function. Okay, let's start creating the function. First of all, I will create a function using ES6 method longest common prefix. The function name is equal to function and body okay let me simply call this function so we can see an output all right we can use some array here as input and we will add some values in this array okay so let's say we have this array with kite kitten and kitchen okay so basically this array should return kit as output okay so let's start creating function body all right first of all we will check if given array is empty or not so we will pass an argument okay array if array is equal to null okay or array dot length is equal to zero it means array have no elements then we will return something something you can say longest prefix okay so you can return this string and before returning you can define this string as an empty string okay so longest common prefix so we will return this string as an empty string if array is null all right so if array is not empty we have multiple array elements then we will look through the array length okay so first of all let we create one variable minimum length so minimum length will find array of zero dot length okay so we will find the first array elements length okay and let me just console that so we can see its output let me open okay so you can see four okay kit has four elements or number of elements in this string all right so now we have minimum length of first element in an array we will create a for loop that will look through our array let me just show you i is equal to one okay i less than array dot length okay we will look through an array i plus plus okay so now we will again overwrite this minimum length variable with one mathematical function that is math dot mean okay so what this function do it will return the smaller of a set of supplied numeric expressions okay so we will have to pass two values here the first value is this minimum length okay and the second value is array of i that will return the length dot length okay so we will find the minimum value from two variables two values okay and let's see what it returns okay so it returns four so you can see this is for uh, this array element has 
four number of characters or number of letters this is more than four and this is obviously more than four okay so how this math function work math dot mean and we can pass multiple values like 89 1 9 okay and it will return minimum value from this array okay so how this math mean function works okay now we have this minimum length of this array all right so now let me just comment it out let me add some comments so we can get it okay so this will find the minimum length string from array okay all right so now what will the next step we will look for the minimum length okay so we will use another for loop let i is equal to 0 so you need to make sure this is a different i than this the scope of this i variable is within this for loop and this is different i okay so you can use i j whatever you want all right so we'll look through i less than yeah, less than mean length and i plus plus right so we will look through the minimum length and let's use some variable current that will return the current element so you can see array of 0 of i so i will let you know why we are using this current variable here let me console this current variable so we can see so you can see it will return k i t e that is the minimum length value okay so minimum length value is 4 that is for this element and we are looping through this element so we got one element at a time in this loop okay so once we have this variable okay now we can use another loop to check if the character is found in other string okay so let j is equal to 0 this is a different loop okay j less than array so we will look through this array input array so it will look through all the elements okay array dot length j plus plus so this is another for loop and in this for loop we will write down a condition so what will be the condition condition will be array of j that will this current element of i so i will be this parent loop okay array of j of i is not equal to current right if array of j of i is not equal to current element then we have to return let me return what will be written we will return this variable which we defined here okay so this is condition to check if character is found in all other strings or not okay let me add the comment check if this character is found in all other string or not okay so we will write down this if condition here okay and after this for loop we will use this longest prefix variable plus equal to current okay we will add up that variable into longest prefix variable so if con this condition is not satisfied then we will add one character by one in this longest prefix variable all right and let me remove this 
okay and if this is fine then we will simply return this variable Let's see. So now you can see it is returning KIT that is common in all these three array variables, array elements. Okay, so we got our output. Okay, so now let's go and change our input. Okay, now let's change it to something else that is flower, flow, and flight. It should return FL. Okay, so FL is common here. All right, and let's change it to this random array to see what we are getting. We should get empty string, okay, because there is no common prefix in this array. All right, so let's go through this function again. We will pass down one array as a function argument, and we will check if function is argument is array is empty or not okay then we will find the minimum length of the string from this array once we get the minimum length we will look through that uh, number of elements in that array and we will check uh, check with the current element if current element is same as an input element if it is there then we will simply return that if it is not there we will simply return that and else we will add one by one into this variable and after that for uh, um, outside of this for loop we will simply return this variable okay i think uh, this was pretty interesting you you can submit that code so we can check if it is working or not let's see let me remove now let's run the code okay it is showing an error because i think constant let me check okay i think we need to add the function body only here so let me just add function body and run it again okay. Yeah, so you can see it is accepted. So the test code is fine. Let me check check with another input. Okay, let me run again and it should return an empty string. Okay, it is also fine. So we can submit that. I will do that. All right. Guys, that's all for this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or any suggestions, you can write down your comments in the comment box. Thank you.